Hey, hey everybody. Um, so they they dropped this a little while ago, earlier today. It's fucking almost midnight. I just wanted to get this video out out here. Holy, I'm so fucking excited. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm very excited for these changes for uh, Hecate or however the fuck you want to pronounce it. <clears throat> Mainly because whenever I, I I watched this, not thinking about it, thinking, oh, you know, it's not going to be any big news. Uh, but no, they actually talk a bit about what they did with Hikate since they uh, said they were going to rework her. Now, there's a reason this is up here. If you know what Han is, Heroes of New Earth, a game I used to play way back in the day too. I've played a lot of MOBAs. I'm extremely excited because of what they've done with Hikate, and I will show you. Let's just go ahead and watch the video here. I'll talk bits and pieces about it too. Hey, I'm AJ, or hi res Ajax. I'm the design director on Smite 2. Every Smite God that launches, there's a wide variety of opinions about it, right? There's people who think this God Always. is amazing and perfect, and there's people who say, oh, we gotta rework this character already. Yeah. We had an early version of Hecate in the pre-alpha tests. And we also did a little bit of a sneak peek preview with some developer behind the scenes type of stuff. And the community, as they usually do, was really focusing in on things, giving a lot of really specific details, looking for things that were missing or added. Now, they didn't see everything about that character, but we had a lot of different tests in a lot of different places, and we really just There's wanted to add some more to her. And the players who saw what they saw wanted to add some more, and the testers, the closed testers, also were like, we could probably do some more, and we're taking that time to do that. And a big focus is Holy about shit, did you see that? Look how close she was to this fucking tornado. And didn't get a tick? That's nuts. Holy shit. Time to do that. And a big focus has been, how do we collect this feedback? How do we process it? How do we implement it? You can always come up with a long list of things of why we shouldn't do that. The way they need to be. You're always better served by looking into, okay, this pitch from this community discussion is crazy, but how can we deliver it? What parts of that can we deliver? How we can deliver the general experience but oh, not shit. in the same way. That I didn't catch that the first time I watched through. These are the skins they uh, have kind of shown off in the Ascended stuff. Those actually look pretty damn good. I think this was like the highest tier, and this was like the the middle tier. Or this is the pink one's the highest tier, I can't remember. But these do look really good. I actually like these. I wonder what they look like on the other gods, though. It looks like they're kind of trying to keep the... Um, like certain colorations because the face looks about the same color but we'll see parts of that can we deliver how we can deliver the general experience but not in the same way that they're suggesting mm -hmm. and it's a big attitude shift it takes a lot of practice and a lot of reminding yourself to stay in that attitude but it has really good results a lot of gods you look at their mythology and they're like god of fire god of the sun god of the sea hecate is like the god of like 19 things so it's very hard to make to be fair there are quite quite a few gods like that not just her a kit that delivers yeah. on all of those things. With the new release of Hecate, we're really leaning into the transitions, doorways, thresholds type of design. She's okay. a triplicate goddess, or often thought of as having Makes clones, sense, yeah. or like three versions of herself. So we're bringing that into the kit Dude, I'm so more excited. than the original version had. And we're leaning into her mysticism and sorcery and witchcraft type of designs with using the clones as a visual tool. So yeah, I, think, I think the clones were new. I don't think that was in the original kit too. So the clones are interesting. Is this like old AI? Old, not AI. Old, uh, old layout? The thing we're going to be Where doing is a, a brand new ultimate. It has a... Yeah, so much this is what I'm excited for. We're going to watch this, showing what it does, and then we're going to tab over to here so I can talk about it. Much more unique gameplay effect on the map, on the game, on the teams, on the team comp. Hecate's new ultimate is going to be able to hit opponents and if they're far away, bring them close to her. Or if they're close to her, send them far away. Put enemies out of place, potentially all of the enemies out of position from a long range away. And do some good damage if you're building damage. Okay, so the reason I'm so hyped for this is because this, so Heroes of New Earth, top-down MOBA just like Dota. Um, Han, I can't remember when the hero was introduced. But Han introduced a character called Riftwalker. Um, now, Riftwalker... It, it, Han was pretty well known for kind of like appropriating things from Dota. 
And then Dota got, the people that did Dota got mad when Han pulled over Zeus as uh, Thunderbringer. And yeah, people got mad. Um, and they basically had to stop doing that shit. Well, Earthwalker did kind of have one ability that one Dota character has, and that was the vacuum. Uh, it was an AoE she could place, and it would suck people into the center. Uh, similar to like Hades ult, but much faster. Um, and it was just one instance of damage. And CC, because it would, like I said, it pulled you to the center. And yes, I know about this trailer. I'm going to watch it later. Um, I have seen it already. It kind of, I, it kind of happened. I was just watching it. I couldn't wait, but I will do a more like a more in-depth breakdown, I, I guess, of it. But so back to Riftwalker. Um, the reason Riftwalker was so interesting, and one reason I loved her so much, was her ultimate. Now, in Heroes of New Earth. Let me, you know what, let me just play this. Um, they added, Heroes and Dota, or Han and Dota, both have an item in the game called, uh, in Dota, it's, it is called, I think I mentioned it in the, in the last long video I did, it's called Aghanim's Scepter. In Han, it was uh, Staff of the Master. And it amplifies an ability. At least in Dota, it amplifies an ability. In Han, it amplified ultimates. Now, it used to do that in Dota, but in Dota, it has changed over the years. Han never really changed it. And I think not every character had a Staff of the Master effect. I could be wrong. Um, but, point is, Riftwalker's ult normally, she would channel, teleport to a location that she selected, and... A huge AoE around her dealt damage and stunned. Now, Staff of the Master added an effect to where she could, the moment she landed and stunned, she could pull everyone with her back to the original location. So, I'm going to play this video. It took me a while to find this, too, because I, I actually knew the guy, uh, Ninja. He did the top five plays, Scumbag Network, for Han. I actually play with him all the fucking time. He's a super dude, super fun dude. Um, but <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and watch this. And I, 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 <laughs> I'm, I, I'm trying to hold back my excitement. Um, especially with how Blink is in the game now, too. I'm, I'm so fucking excited. So I'm going to play this, and I want you to just watch. I'll point her out. You'll see her. So right there, Riftwalker. Channels are old. Teleports and does a huge amount of damage to everybody. And then with Staff of the Master, she brings them back to her location that she casts the ability from. Now, obviously, not exactly the same, but the fact on the team comp <laughs> that we get this ultimate. it's about the same it's channel time it is about the same channel time does a ton of damage and stuns and then you can still teleport to it or bring them to you now hang on opponents hang and on. if they're far away bring them close to her or if they're close to her send them far away put enemies out of place potentially all of the enemies okay so it does it automatically i think and do some good damage. at least that's what it looks like until we until we see the uh, the details, the it makes me think like if you interact with it, does it pull them to Hecate's you or does it just do it? Is going to be able to hit opponents and if they're far away, bring them close to her, or if they're close to her, send them far away. Put enemies out of place, potentially all of the enemies. Either either way, I don't care. The fact that the moment I saw this in the video, I lost my shit and had completely forgotten about everything else in that video. That's why we. That, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been dealing with a cough, but that's the whole reason why I like I completely forgot what the point of the video was before that. That's why we rewatched it. I was so fucking hyped. This alone does so much. Now I would say, because here's the thing with this, right? So let's watch this real quick. Um, Team comp. Let me mute real quick. How long is a stun? 
Oh, it doesn't even last after the teleport. So I would I would think what they should do is the moment they take the damage, they're stunned, and then they're stunned for one second after teleporting. But, and hear me out, this is because I'm used to CC. <laughs> this, is, this is me being like, hey, you see the CC here? I mean, hell, you saw a fucking Kronos ultimate too. Kronos. Fucking Chrono Field literally locks everything. Oleron ult has nothing on Chronosphere. Or uh, whatever Faceless Voice. I think Faceless Voice is called Chronosphere too. Literally Dota character. Um, <clears throat> Chronos is Faceless Void in Dota. Um, but point is, you think Oleron ult is bad? You ain't seen nothing. Like I said in that last video, Smite, us Smite players have it fucking easy, man. I can't say us because I play other MOBAs, but Smite players have it so fucking easy when it comes to CC. This is like a five second lock, four or five second lockdown where Kronos can just wail on you. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yeah, here he is here. God, the announcer packs are so annoying. Oh, he's getting blade mailed. Uh, so that's another thing. Uh, Grandin, <clears throat> I might make a video talking about old items I would love to see come back. Um, we used to have it uh, higher than Nemean. Um, and I I don't remember why they got rid of Hide of the Nemean Lion. Um, I know, so originally it was just a, it was a reflect damage whenever you took auto attack damage. I don't know why they got rid of it. Um, I know they changed it at one point to where it would gain block stacks, which was kind of broken because it could have two. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I get it. Um, but, I, I, dude, they, it should just come back. There's no reason Hide of the Nemean Lion can't be in the game. And if it's really that big of a fucking deal, um, put it back in Smite 2 and treat it like Dota and Han do where it is an activatable thing and lasts for like five seconds where any damage any any damage you take like how thorns is now um blade mail and i think i think it's just blade mail <coughs> that's how it works in dota it lasts for like i think it's five seconds it might be longer um but it literally just reflects like uh, I don't know, I think like 30-40% of the damage back that he that you take. It could be less. It's probably less now that I think about it. But point is, like, I'd love to see it come back. There's no reason it shouldn't. The The difference is that Thorns deals damage in an AoE around you as well. But Blade Mail didn't do that. It just... Any damage I take, I'm reflecting it back at you at this much percentage. Um, but yeah. So... I'm extremely excited about this. I want it. I want her now. I want her in the next alpha. I think I think she has to be in the next alpha. Especially if they're showing her off like this for for players in this video. She has to be in the next alpha because that alone, I think not only would we have on her back hopefully if they can figure out what the hell they fucked up. And that's no jab at them. Unreal is fucking crazy. Um, hopefully on her's back. Hopefully we have two more gods. Two or three more gods, actually. I would probably say like three or four. Um, and hopefully Hecate, Hecate, however you want to fucking pronounce it. Hopefully she is in the game as well. I think... Personally, I think she has to be, especially since people expected her to be in last alpha patch and she wasn't because they wanted to redo stuff because the player base was, I guess they gave pretty negative feedback about her, but oh man, I'm, I'm so happy. So she, she was one of my favorite fucking characters for such a long time. Just because of the setup potential. And Riftwalker is the exact same. She is a mage. She's a setup in, uh, intelligence character. 
um, initiator, initiator on an intelligence character, by the way. Yeah, fucking nuts. Um, now, the original effect without that Staff of the Master thing, um, here, let me show you. It literally ends right here. There's no teleport back. It's just land, deal damage, stun. Now, the rest of her kits uh, synergized with this. It was the vacuum. She had a... Um... I don't think we have a character that does anything like it in Smite. Um... Think if... No, we don't. Um... The closest thing we would have is, like, Pele. Um, her two... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. The two, how it does three in uh, three things of damage. Um, well, it, it's funny because it doesn't, but uh, it does three knockups essentially. Um, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Riftwalker, she would drop it, uh, and it, it was just an AOE. Think like Merlin Circle. She drops it, but with each tick of damage, it expands and gets bigger. That and and it does more and more damage the bigger it gets. That was it synergized with her kit. Uh, and then her second thing, when she dealt damage to enemies, it would slow them. Uh, but she had to apply it to people. But still, it all synergized very well. She was such a fun character to play. So seeing this, far away, bring them close to her, or if they're close to man, her, send them far away. It, Put it makes me place, so fucking happy. All of happy. the enemies out of position from a long range away, and do some good. It makes things. me so happy to see that they're like actually experimenting with stuff and having fun with it, because that alone just goes to show like they're they're taking more risks with the random shit that they can do, and they may not have even known about this character. And even if they did, I, I'm not complaining. I'm it's happy. Damage. I'm excited. But wait, there's more. Hecate Ultimate, after you fire the attack, will also leave a deployable that allies can interact with to also optionally take the teleport travel either way. So we're still messing with a lot of the variables. We still are in a lot of temp visuals for these new abilities and some temp variables, but it's a big ability. It's got a big warm up, big visuals, big clarity phase so you don't just get hit with this out of nowhere mm -hmm. but then it's really impactful and has a lasting impact and it fits her themes a lot better than our earlier versions of this stuff we're making change we got good feedback and we're implementing real change to the character based on that feedback can't wait to see it out there and see this these new abilities really making a memorable impact on the battleground so i'm so excited man i'm so excited that's all i can say i'm actually fucking hyped and really hoping that she's in the next alpha patch she has to be, in my opinion. She just, she has to be. <laughs> Either way, hopefully you enjoyed just... Look forward to... The only thing I can say, I guess, is look forward to the future of Smite 2. I'm really, like, this has kind of, like, because I only played maybe... Granted, I had a lot of school shit going on, but I only played maybe two days of... Not even two days, like eight hours, if that, of the alpha, la of the most recent alpha. And it's mostly, yes, because of school shit. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. I really hope we get some just crazy shit, man. Either way, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hopefully you're just as hyped as I am for some crazy shit like that. Catch y'all in the next one. Laters.